Dear Uber and Lyft riders, today I'm appealing to you and I hope I speak on behalf of the entire Uber and Lyft community. Uh, we were hoping for a raise, in fact we were hoping for a 20% raise, but that did not materialize. Uh, Uber did not raise the rates because they wanted you, the passenger, to have the very, very best rate possible. You pay far less than any taxi, uh, any rideshare company out there, you're getting the bottom, bottom price. And we believe we, as the drivers, should be rewarded in some way. So today, I ask you to make full use of the new tipping platform that was introduced on Uber. Now granted, it's already been rolled out on Lyft and some of you are using it. But if I could use three words, rate and tip, exactly. Rate your driver and then tip them accordingly. And here is why. Tipping is part of your everyday life. I myself, I'll tip the hairdresser after a good cut. I'll tip the waiter or waitress after a meal, depending on how good the service was. Uh, you tip taxi drivers, the people that bring your car out at the valet service, the bellboy, the concierge. So I ask you, why should Uber and Lyft drivers not receive the same treatment? On YouTube, we have a community of rideshare experts that are constantly making video to help other drivers or newbies improve their game so that you, the rider, benefit from the countless videos that these individuals make. We truly raise the bar. Ask yourself, have you ever seen a taxi driver do the equivalent for another taxi driver? Many of you passengers have used taxis and yellow cabs in the past. Some of you still use them today. But I tell you, most of the Uber or Lyft passengers or riders switched to these companies because they were getting far better fares and far better customer service. Truth is, we have to really work for our five stars and we go beyond to make that trip pleasurable for you. Do you actually realize how many duties we perform on one trip? When we are driving a passenger around town or from A to B or to the airport, wherever it may be, we are always choosing the shortest route. You never have to worry that we're trying to shortchange you or take a longer trip. You can follow us on the navigation system, which is usually up on our dashboard. So we're always out there to save you time and money. One of the main reasons you chose an Uber or a Lyft driver is because of the built-in safety measures. Now we have to undergo a full background check our cars have to undergo constant inspections and our insurance has to be in place otherwise we just can't drive so you are getting the very very best and the safest trip you could possibly ask for fact is that many passengers use uber and lyft so that they do not have to subject themselves to checkpoints or get a possible dui we make sure that you can have your couple of extra glasses of wine in the restaurant or you can have your vodka martinis in the nightclub and we get you home safely. So whether you are taking an Uber X or an Uber SUV or a Lyft Premier or a Lyft Plus or Lyft Regular to the airport, you are always getting the very, very best fares. You can compare those fares with taxi fares anytime and you can see your savings. We go beyond. We help you pack the luggage in the car. When we arrive at the airport, we unpack the luggage and we always make sure that we're watching the navigation and that we know when your flight departs because we want to make sure that you get safely to your next destination. These are services that are truly, truly uh, valuable to you as the passenger. And why not tip and show your gratitude towards a driver next time he drives you to an airport? So dear passenger, Another big reason why we appreciate a tip from you because we have so many weekly costs. There are parking fees that we have to pay, valet fees, uh, daily gasoline charges, uh, cleaning fees for the car. Uh, we pay for brakes, for tires, for oil changes. We often have waters or mints on board. These are all costs that we absorb. So every tip that we get is so great, greatly appreciated because it goes towards paying those costs. 
And if your son or your daughter or a friend or your retired dad ever needs a job, just turn to your driver and let him or her explain to you how to sign up with Uber. The cool thing is they will be getting a referral reward and so will the driver. And the next thing you know, you've made someone happy. You've given them a job. So I have not included my code here because I really want this video to go viral and have all the passengers and drivers share it. Just share the information. I don't want to benefit from this video. So please pass this video on because you can even turn to your driver and say, you know, do you have some free promo codes uh, because my friend would like to sign up with Uber or Lyft. There are always coupons and savings for that first time driver that you can pass on as a gift. You will notice that with Uber and Lyft drivers, good manners and kindness are always in fashion. They will always open a door for you. They'll pick up the luggage for you. They'll hold an umbrella in the rain. We go beyond because we want to earn those five stars from you. So next time you end your trip and get out the car, I ask you kindly to rate and tip your driver. We now have a tipping platform and we would so greatly appreciate it if you would make good use of it. So always remember, rate and tip. We never got the 20% increase that we were hoping for, but we did get the tipping platform and this is our one chance to get your attention and ask you again to rate us and tip us. Ladies and gentlemen, these are facts. In New York, the Taxi and Limousine Commission found out that the average passenger that paid with a credit card would only tip about 15.5% since the fares went up. That is down a couple of points from the 17% that they gave back in 2010 and 2011. In 2009, they tipped more than 22%. Those were people tipping taxi drivers. And I can assure you that Uber and Lyft drivers go way, way, way beyond. I mean, just think of it. The moment you step into that car, it's clean, it's fresh, it does not um, smell of smoke. We care about our cars, we care about our ratings, and we would super, again, greatly appreciate tips. With us Uber and Lyft drivers, you will always know where you stand with your fare. You can check your destination to your end destination and get a range like here, 11 to $14, and know that it's not going to go wild into $20, $21. I can assure you with many of the other services, the figure is unknown. You truly, truly do not know what number is going to arrive at the end of the trip. So there are so many more advantages using Uber and Lyft and we want to make sure that we live up to that price for you. At Uber and Lyft we know exactly how much your loved ones or your little ones mean to you and safety always comes first. You know when a mother arrives with her kid and a, a booster seat or a baby seat I take my time and make 100% sure that that little one is strapped in to a very very safe car seat. So we go beyond. Again, we then appreciate a good rating and hopefully a tip for all of our efforts. So whether you're about to step into a Toyota Prius in the Uber X category or a Chevy Suburban in the Uber SUV or Lyft Plus categories, you will always know that the driver will give you his or her five star service. Without doubt, we have to work very, very hard for our ratings. And again, I request that you always remember these three words when you end the trip, rate and tip. And now that you have downloaded the latest version of your Uber and Lyft app, which includes the tipping platform, let me ask you this, what is the right amount to give? And I'd like to read you a short little passage. According to Peter Post, Managing Director of the Emily Post Institute and author of Essential Manners for Men, he suggests that it is good to start at 15% of the total fare and just round it up from there. He also stated that drivers who exhibit extra courteousness and service may be deserving of a dollar or two extra. 
So for instance, if the driver helps you with your luggage and knows what shortcuts to take so you reach your flight on time, then he or she definitely deserves more than just 15%. For those who are traveling in a taxi, you may want to keep these rates in mind. This is the standard tipping practice and you may want to increase or decrease the tip according to your overall taxi experience. Now this was tailored for taxis. Who are we? We are the equivalent and we are even more. We go beyond a taxi service. So if you have in the past tipped your taxi driver, again I kindly ask you the three words, rate and tip. And in conclusion, please drive safe and ask your driver if your phone needs charging or if you would like the auxiliary cord so that you can play music through your cell phone. And again, I ask you kindly, please rate and tip. We appreciate you.